welcome again guys my friends today we continue with a new session for a new project which is a, a traffic project everywhere you can go in every country you will see the uh, automatic uh, red uh, line uh, red and green and yellow the sign for traffic which is automatically controlled by using a BLC so today I come with this uh, project for you this project actually it is uh, not one part I divided this project for you in three parts because it is a longer project and a complicated project so for today we're going to talk about the first part of the project as you can see in the left we have here designed the scenario and the image for the traffic light simulation you can see here red green and yellow sign so we need to uh, to identify what we need to do with this one so the operation for the assignment number one we need to uh, highlight the uh, red sign for a while and then the green line will be uh, highlighted for another time period and finally the yellow one will be highlighted and the cycle will be repeated as you can see here i i will show you the video for the cars can be passing trees passing in the red sign but it can just pass when uh, green or yellow so let's uh, try our project here so as i uh, used to thinking in logic after defining the requirements so here we need to use timer for sure and you can back to the session in which we describe the timer we have many type of, of timers we talked about the main timers like on delay of delay and the other type of timers so today we're going to use the on delay timer so we can using the timer to say for example if we designing the period for the uh, 12 seconds for the uh, red and uh, other 12 seconds for the green and 5 seconds or 3 seconds for the yellow so now i'm going to use the timer so go to the instruction okay so go to the instruction to count the uh, time and see so here you can see here the timer and the counter i will use this one uh, sorry about this so this is the timer so i would uh, say here this is the 240 uh, second for this one for this uh, timer and i will use this one for t40 and this timer will start to counting the time and uh, by without any condition it will count the time and then in the next rung i'm going to uh, using the uh, this uh, the contact of this timer when become on so going to the bit instruction here and using the bit timer here for another uh, for another yes so i just gonna use this one here and we can uh, make this one to go below i don't know how to to make this one okay anyway uh, there's no problem to make this one but let's see here we can like cut the rung and put this rung above i think a best above yes that's correct so i will take this one which is uh, t4 but actually i i designed it, uh, this one to be uh, i'm sorry this one to be is a negative logic of t4 so this is t4 0 and if t4 0 i mean uh, as long as the timer is still counting i will uh, make the traffic but i don't need the traffic because this is the whole period and i divided the period, period like uh, like uh, 24 seconds this is the whole i will take uh, the 12 for uh, for the first and 10 for the second and two for the third which is the uh, yellow light so i will put here to compare comparison uh, also i uh, i can use a comparison like uh, i'm saying if it is less than like i will i will put here uh, if it is less than like this is the t4 
for 0 but t for 0 of uh, is a accumulation that means if the x accumulation here if the uh, accumulation here actually I need this one to be uh, to first zero dot accumul accumulation I think yes if this one is like uh, less than uh, less than 120 120 a uh, second so I will for sure running this uh, red color which is this one the red color here okay I can I can using this one and let me testing what I have done here so let's go to downloading and see if see what happened yeah yeah so it keep it, it keep it keep working until keep working until in the condition of less than yes but still it's not uh, it's not good okay to repeat it again like we can repeat it again like see this is the count as long as it is less than the 120 so after 120 as you can see here the sign goes so we can continue I think we we are uh, on the right track so we can continue so to continue our logic here we need to add uh, another rank here so guys we we need another rank here and we saying if like if the same thing like here not done for this one okay so this one dot zero dot done okay so this one i think it be slash done i think done yes that's correct and this one slash done also okay so i will use the same thing like this one so i can okay i will put like the comparison again here so if it is like uh I need to say if greater than if greater than if this one uh, which is uh, t4 t4 0 dot accumulate with this accumulator is greater than 120 okay but less than uh, we can calculate like uh, the other them so we need also uh, less than here so if this one greater than uh, 12 second t4 0 dot s accumulator if it is less than uh, less than uh, like uh, 200 okay let's say let's say this is uh, 200 meaning uh, 20 second that means it will be 8 second okay like from uh, 12 after 12 until a 20 so I will add this one so now so I can run this one which is the uh, the green one okay so this is the green one here and finally we can adding the last one here okay which is same thing here like this one I can take this one here and also I can take this one copy and here like this no copy paste allowed here so we can uh, go to uh, this one so i need after this 20 okay so this 20 after this one so greater than if it is greater than and this thing is t4 0 dot accumulator is greater than 20 seconds so that means i will run the uh, my one here like this one okay which is the yellow one okay but i need here also to uh, repeat the process so after i have done so what i need to do is to just uh, just uh, 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 like uh, i need to reset the timer so the reset here is like set and reset so i can i can say i don't know like uh, the move and logic condition or program control 
I need to reset here, just reset. Okay. So I can see here the bit condition, so I will use this one. Like this is about and latch. Let's try this one. Like this one, it will be. So this one, it will be like uh, I need to reset this one. So if I I say uh, this for sure will be like this. Okay. So once the timer is done, so what I need to do to reset the timer is like. Uh, uh, like I, I can put uh, one condition here. Yes, that's a good idea. So I can using this one Where I added I added some yeah, this one. So this one it will be like uh, like b3 This is like a flag uh, my friends b3 one zero. Okay, so I will just set this one To reset the the time so this one will be here Which is resetting this timer, so this will be b three one slash zero. So now, once the the counter, once the the once the timer uh, has done count all the periods. So what I'm gonna do is just like uh, uh, just just like uh, like resetting the timer. So let's see if we need to amend anything or it's working uh, good. So here you can see waiting the time and after the time is gone should be the other one will working. Yes, the green is working now for the while. See here and it should be after the time. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And then it is repeated as you can see. So well done today. You can see uh, the logic. You can make the, this program with uh, many, many scenarios or many, many time. So uh, it is uh, your your way to think and the programming. Uh, but uh, but now I'm showing you something very, very exciting. So guys, uh, next time we'll make it uh, harder and uh, and 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 make the condition of make the uh, other ways like this direction. And this direction working in same way okay so we have another one so we need to consider this and this so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed today what we uh, discussed and uh, uh, let's meet next time with another project or to complete this part of project thank you very